Alright, let's uh, try and play some uh, Red Typhoon. And we'll just film it as we go. May not say too much, but uh, we'll uh, see what happens. Um, looks like the game's pretty simple. It had six pages of rules. Um, everything focuses around these these AP markers. Whether you see it or not. But each side gets so many per turn. And you can use these to put in these boxes that you see on the map. Um, and each major unit on the map has an attack box and a move box. Yes, they can do both during a turn. Um, so you could take the Russian APs during the move phase and you could move everything on the, we'll say the Kalan in front. All right, and if you have any left over, when the combat phase comes up, you can take one and you can put it in the attack box and then all those units can attack. So one of the things you can do here is like, say you put a move marker in the Kalanin box, you can move some of the units and then get another one and move it over here to the uh, WR box and move some of those units and then go back over to your Kalanin box and move some more units. So that's how that works. The map, uh, the red objectives are Soviet victory points. And the gray ones are German, which I assume they already own. Um, all the units are deployed. There really, there's no really, there's some reinforcement units for the Germans. Um, the Russians have some partisan units, and I think they have an airborne unit. Yeah, an airborne unit that can be dropped in any of these woods on a certain turn. There's six woods areas, and you roll to see which one they drop in, and that's where you drop them. Simple combat chart reminds me of all the old games you used to play. Simple terrain chart. Um, the designer's notes say that the Russians need to move fast. Russians can stack two. The Germans can stack three in a hex. And from what I gather here, this is the counteroffensive. The, yeah, the Soviet winter counteroffensive in 1942. So this would be after the Germans failed to take... Uh, in their offensive on Moscow. So, so we're going to take a crack at this and see how this goes. And of course, the Germans are the first. Let's see what's at play. Here we go. I mean, the Russians will be the first player. Um, your combat results you can be retreated, you can have an exchange, you can have elimination, you can have retreat. Uh, you can have C, which means nothing happens. They just hold their ground. Um, let's see. Where's the explanation for L? What is L? What is combat resolution? Well, that's funny because it doesn't have it. <laughs> and I don't see anything on the chart here. And there's nothing written on the game map. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. If the attacker is the German player, they may instead apply an AR result for the asterisk. But what is the L for? Attacker loses. Attacker loss. Does that mean attacker loot? Yes. Yeah, some of these units have steps. Let me make sure. No, they have a disorder side. All right, well, let's see. Combat results. Cross-referencing the die roll with the odds determined. Note the terrain, isolation, Soviet surprise, modified die roll less than zero is treated as zero. Modified more than six is treated as six. But I don't see what that L means on the chart. And I don't see an explanation of what it means anywhere. It's interesting. It's got to be attacker loses. I would I would think it means attacker loses a step. Well, don't tell me I found a game that doesn't have an explanation of the combat results. Let's take a look on the front. 
Uh, don't see anything on page one. You would think it would be under combat, which it has combat results. With the odds determined 932. Um, need not declare his attacks. Da 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 da. May participate in only a single attack per combat phase. Wow, this is interesting. Combat results. Here we go. Okay. AL, attacker loss. The attacker must eliminate one attacking unit. Okay. Uh, C is contact. That's what's in there. So there's no effect. The attacking and defending units remain in their hexes. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So activation point phase and movement pay phase. So who goes first? Let's see. Ding, 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 ding. Is it random? And I read all these rules in about 30 minutes the other night, so. Uh, during each game turn, the players move their units and resolve combat in sequence according to the following. Soviet player turn, activation point phase. All right, so he's got, he gets seven on the first turn. All right. Recommend you don't use them all. All right, so he's going to start. And there's a nice big gap down here in the south, it looks like. Yeah, in the south near Kaluga. Um, I want to make sure on zones of control before I take off. Let me read that real quick. Yeah, these rules are very, very simple. Two column, big text. Um, you're not going to hurt your brain after that. Uh, these units that have white combat strengths, like those armor units, this cav unit, uh, they, in an advance after combat, they can move an extra hex. But the first hex has to be the hex that of the defending unit they knocked out, and then they can move one more after that. Zones control, come on, where are you? Oh, here we go. During movement, a unit that enters a hex within an enemy zone control must immediately stop moving. A unit that begins in an enemy zone control may move, but not directly to another adjacent hex in an enemy zone control. If the unit exits the enemy zone control, it must again stop if it enters another one. In your combat phase, your units may attack enemy units in their zones control. Units cannot enter hexes in enemy zone of control when retreating as a result. Okay. And disrupted units lose their zone of control. Yeah, where is disruption? That must be... Now, that's Defender Retreat 1. Where was that at again? Oh, what page was that on? Come on. Uh, da -da 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah, so DR is retreat. Oh, okay. Retreat one hex and become disrupted. Um, attacking player retreats all. The, the attacking player also, if he pushes the defender out, he gets to retreat their units for them. And they become disrupted. And that looks like the only time that you get a disruption. Okay. Supply is pretty simple. Chase it, trace it back to your supply sources. Um, I think there is a number. Uh, let's see. It is. I was reading it last night. When a unit is attacked, defending player confirms the unit is within six hexes of a road or railroad. A path is counted from the unit through contiguous hexes. Okay. And then from the road or railroad, it can go all the way to the supply source, unlimited. All right, so a line of communication can be of any length. <clears throat> so, of any length, but it can't exit, it can't enter an enemy zone of control. Um, nor be within an enemy zone of control or an enemy hex, nor contain an enemy control city or supply source. Friendly units do, do negate enemy zones of control in this game. All right, so 
This guy here, he's on a road. This guy here would be one, two, three to a railroad. So everybody's pretty much in supply. And I, I'm just wondering, are there going to be any circumstances, unless you cut them off somewhere, that there won't be any? Uh, that somebody will be out of supply? All right, let's see what we got here. Movement cost in the woods is two for infantry, three for mech. All right, crossing rivers. Looks like nobody can do it. So you got to do it at a bridge. Well, that stinks. Oh, wait a minute. Or does that mean it costs nothing? Let's make sure about that. Rivers, no effect. Oh, wow. Probably because it was frozen. So these rivers have zero effect on movement. Wow. All right. Well, let's get this started here. Uh, the Soviets are going to take an AP. And they need to break out. We're going to do yellow first. We're going to do move with the this front right here. And they need to be able to bust out of here. So, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. Get some bigger units out there. What do we got here? Four and a two. Four and a five, three and a six. That's nine. And a five. Give me another infantry here. One, two, three, four. So he'll go here. And he'll go here. One, two, three, four. Make sure the clear is just one. Yeah, okay. So they are there. Um, so I wonder what cavalry. I guess cavalry is cavalry's not mechanized. There's an infantry unit. It's, can't tell. How do you tell what's mechanized and what's mechanized would have to be the armor, I'm assuming. So let's make sure. Boy, the, I'm telling you, the rules are so thin. Let's make sure we know who's who. Counters. Uh, see the back of the. Oh yeah. All right. All right. So, unit information. It does not. It's not specific. Well, I guess we'll just treat it the way we know by the NATO symbols. Those armored units and mechanized infantry. Those are your mechanized units. All right. So let's get some breaking out going on here. All right. So one, two. Three, four, oops, All right. one, two, three, four, five, six, or six, let's go seven right there, which means he can join him, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, and you can join him. Mech gets half on roads. So it looks like woods are the only thing that have any penalty. All right. Now that's mechanized here. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we'll go in here with him. Five, six. And they're good. Let's get these other guys into the action here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Get him in there. And we'll get him in there. Those are good. He's living dangerously. And we got to protect these supply things here, so. Um... We need to screen off this corner over here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll put him in there with him. All right, let's see. I'm going to take this guy. 
It's only got six points in there. That's six points against mine. Not very good. But we need to block that. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll put him in the woods there. All right, so that's a move. The yellows have moved. Right, who else do we want to move? Um, let's see. We need to do some... We're going to have to do some attacking up here. I know that. So let's go work on... Let's go work on light brown. Let's drop an AP into light brown to move. That's up here. That is the Kalan in front. So we want to get in there on this guy here. We got 10 and he got 8. So we'll go in there. He got seven. He got three units on him. One, two. One, two. We need to screen that. We need to screen that. Those guys are probably okay. Move him up. Move him into here. That's some good numbers. Good numbers. I right, just take care of them. Let's move another one. Let's move the. Do we want to move the green? Yeah, we do. Because we want to break out. So let's move with green up here. I want to go one, two to this guy. And I think I want to go to the Romanians here. Oh, that's a two. So let's do and let's drive that guy. Well, you need to call some losses. So we can go one, two into here. Uh, what else do we need to do? He's good. If he gets across the river down there, he's in the woods. These are going to be accumulative. He's across. No matter, he can't do that anyhow. But he can go down here and go one, two. Put him there. And we still got four left. Now, granted, we need to save some for attack, so. All right, we need to move. We need to move with the blue units. Probably do, but somebody's not going to attack of these four forces if I do that. Now, also the Panzer Division's here. If they get a move order, they can attack without an attack order in the combat phase. So keep that in mind. Don't want to mess around with red. At least not yet. I don't think I need to. Although the Germans may try something silly over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, let's not move. Let's uh, let's attack. I don't really say it was a combat phase. Yeah, so let's do combat. So let's do combat down here with the yellow. All right. Get my pawns here. All right, what's this guy got? He's got sitting in the clear. He's got 12. He's got 12 sitting in the clear. All right. Now let's check the terrain for combat to make sure about the rivers. Rivers have no effect. That's all movement. 
Okay, in combat. If all, minus one DRM if all the units are attacking across the river. Okay, so they're not. So he's got 12 in there. He's got six. He's got 12, 22, and he's got 30. So that's going to be a two to one. And the Russians all get plus two, the Soviet surprise attack. They get a plus two DRM on every yeah plus two drm all right so that's going to be two to one he's in the clear so that's going to be two to one plus two all right he rolls a five two to one he rolls a five defender retreats one let's make sure we got that right where's my results at all right dr defender retreats one to four hexes the attacking player Retreats all defending units, the number of hexes indicated, and the defending units are disrupted. All right, well, he's got nowhere to retreat. All right, a retreat cannot enter the following. Hexes occupied by enemy units. Hexes in an enemy zone of control, right? And hexes which would result in exceeding the stacking limit, let's see below, may, let's see, a unit cannot retreat without violating... The restrictions above is eliminated instead and removed from the map. Units that retreat must end their retreat the number of hexes away from the hex their retreat began as they result. Okay. If no other hex is available, retreating units may enter a hex that would result in exceeding the stacking limit. The excess in the excess then continue to retreat till they reach a hex they may legally stack in. Now the one thing it doesn't say is about zone of controls in your combat phase your units may attack enemy units in their zone of control units cannot enter hexes in an enemy zone of control when retreating as a result of combat doesn't say a thing about friendly units let's see so he can stack four. I know he can stack three. He can stack three. Units may be required to retreat. The attacking player conducts all retreats. A retreat cannot enter the following hexes. Hexes occupied by enemy units. Hexes in an enemy zone of control. All right, so he can't do it. He's going to lose all of those right there because it doesn't say nothing about uh, friendly units. It's zone of control. It doesn't say a thing. So there is, uh, that's three, oh wait, defense, retreat, yeah. So those three are eliminated, gone. Man, what a beating. Advance after combat. If all defending units retreat or are eliminated, attacking player may advance attack yeah, into the vacated hex so he can move in. And the armor could move one additional hex, but I don't think we need to. All right, so that attack. Now let's see what else we got. Um, do we want to fight these guys? Because I think they're 12 too. 12... There's 15 and 9 is 24, so that would be 2 to 1. 2 to 1, he's going to get a minus 1, but he's going to get a plus 1 for DRM. A plus 2, so it's going to be 2 to 1 plus 1. All right, 2 to 1 plus 1 in the book. 2 to 1 plus 1. He rolls a 3, that's a 4. 4 is a defender, retreats 1. All right. He's gonna lose one. Oh wait a minute, see. Retreat must end. They retreat the same or hex way the retreat began. Okay. May enter a hex that would result in exceeding the stacking limit of excess units. Then will continue to retreat until they reach a hex they can legally stack in. Alright, so two of them can stay there, and the excess units gotta move there. And he can move forward. 
All right, so you can overstack on retreat, and then any excess units have to continue keep retreating until uh, they are until the uh, one more hex until this, or at least until the stacking is good. Right, what's this guy got? He's got nine. We got six and three is nine. That would be one to one, and it would end up being a plus one at one to one. I think we'll pass on that one there. All right, so let's do, let's go up here. We need to do these green ones because we need to get some holes up there. So we're going to burn a Russian AP on the green one. And we will attack. We're either going to attack at three to one on him or four to one on him. Three to one or four to one. Um, let's do the three to one plus two on him. Three to one plus two. Ooh, that's a three. Oh, that's a defender retreats one. All right, he has retreated. He's going to stay put. He will move forward. All right, we got four. He's in the woods. It would be six. And nine would be 15. That would be three to one. And he's behind the river. So that would be a, a three to one straight up. All right. So we do three to one straight up. And he rolls a two. And a two is a DR1. Right, so he retreats. And he crosses. Ooh, do we want to do that? No, he crosses. What's he got in there? All right, so that takes care of green. Let's do, looks like we got some good attacks right here. Oh, we got enough. So let's attack with the Kalanin sector. All right, we've got, what's he got? In the woods and he's got eight, all right? So it's eight, seven, there's 15. 25 into 8. So there's 3 to 1. It's in the woods. So plus 2, minus 1 is be 3 to 1 plus 1. 6. Ooh, good God. Defender retreats 3. All right. 1. And he gets to move them. So 1, 2, 3. He's got to be 3 hexes away. 1, 2, 3. Oh, okay. And they can advance. Do we have any armor? So they advanced. All right. Let's do this bottom one down here. What's he got? He's got nine in the woods. And it's six, seven, eight. Eight and eight is 16. That's a, that would be a one to one plus one. Nope, not going to do that. And he's got eight. And he's got 10 and 5. He's got 15. That's not even enough. My God. All right. That ain't going to work. All right. So let's do blue. We'll attack with blue. All right. Do we have any good ones down here? This should be a good one, but I don't know. Let's see. He's probably got 12. Yeah, he's got 12, 6, and 6 is 12. 12 and 5. 12 and 10 would be 22. And 12 and 9, that would be 1 to 1. All right, well, let's do this here. 20. 28 into 9 in the clear. 28 into 9, that's 3 to 1, and he's going to get plus 2. Is there anything special about the IS Army, the Shock Army? Let's see. All right. So what I say, three to one plus two, he rolls a six. That's a DR three. All right. So he gets to get blown out of there. Where do they want to take him? We want to collapse them. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
we will move him up. No. Nope. We'll move him up. Nope. We'll move him up. All right. And that's it for the Soviets. All right. 15th Army withdrawal phase. They don't do that. Check that. Where is it? Just make sure. I don't think it happens yet. By turn nine. You just pick it up and move it. All right. Airborne deployment. No, no. In recovery. So in recovery, how do units get disrupted? Oh, I forgot to disrupt these. He's disrupted. He's disrupted. He's disrupted. Who else was disrupted? He's disrupted. They. Yeah, see, probably would have just moved him. No, it doesn't work like that. He's disrupted. Hmm. Who else got hit? Oh, yeah. These two guys are disrupted. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay. So they don't have anything. All right. Oh, you're just, you know, let's see. Hmm. Got the gaps. Movement. Supply sources and set up areas have no movement. Uh, let's see. I don't think disruptive units can do anything. It's disruptive units lose their zone of control. That's it. Can they do anything else? Disrupted units lose their zone of control. That's literally all it says. <clears throat> units move from hex to hex. Pain and pull cost. Disruption. Retreating units, whether attacking or defending, become disrupted. When attacking, okay. Disrupted units lose their zone of control and they cannot move or attack. Right. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. They cannot move or attack. All right. They didn't have any, so the Germans now get to go. Let's get these out of the way. And on the next turn, they will get seven again. All right. The Germans only get four. So, what are they going to do? Well, they're not going to attack, that's for sure. Not there. They could do some damage with the black, but the red needs to stretch their lines, so we know we're going to do that. All right, so, the red will move. He'll move. Second Panzer is going to move. All right. So, this guy here could literally go, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Um, railroad is the other terrain, so that's not going to do him any good. He's got a four in there. This guy's going to need to get going. He, 
Look at all this mech infantry down here. They got a lot of mech infantry down there. I think they're going to have to get off of this. They're probably going to have to get off of this and start moving back the other way. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three. He could go. Yeah, let's see what else we can do. One, two, three, four, five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Back into the woods. Um, they're gonna give that up. So, oops. One, two, three, four, five. Run away! Run away! Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Let's see what he can do. First, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. He can go one, two, three. No. We'll put him back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. All right. They've moved. I think yellow's gonna have to move. Yep, yellow's gonna have to move. They can't. He can. He can go one, two, three, four. He can go in there, five, six. Um, he can, no, he can do this. He can go one, two. Right there. So he goes out and then back in. Okay, that'll work. This is useless down here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three. And we'll put him with him. No, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's seal that pocket up a little bit. All right, he can go one, two, three. He can go one, two. And this guy's going to keep going three, four. So they're going to give up some of this stuff. <clears throat> All right, who else do we want to move as the Germans? Do we want to move? Yeah, we got to, we got to fill some of these gaps. Got to fill some of these gaps. All right, so let's move black. Let's do black. Well, Germans aren't going to get many attack opportunities, are they? Well, they've only got... Well, the Romanians are a different color. <clears throat> so let's um, let's move him back here. One, two. One, two. Yeah, we can't give up that flank. Um, one, two, three. We'll get him in there. We'll put them together. And yes, units of different formations can stack together before you ask. And we're going to leave him there. 
Let's pull him up. One. No, I don't like that. One. Get one to there. And let's go one to there. Let's pull him back one, I guess. Pull him back one. Let's put, he's got them covered. Let's put um, one, two, three, four, five. We'll put him in there. And then he's still got one more, the blue. Do they want to attack with the blue or do they want to fall out of there with the blue? Do they want to save it and do combat or do they want to move? See, I think they got to tighten their lines up. All right, let's move. We're going to move the first turn with blue. All right, these guys aren't going anywhere. So they're going to be good at the end of this turn. Panzer divisions. I got to do something with them. I got to get them back somewhere where they can make big moves. There's like no roads up here. No roads whatsoever. <clears throat> All right, so if we go one, two, three, or three, four, five, six. All right, this guy here can go one, two, three, four. He can go five to there. All right, that means this guy, he can one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy here can go, what's that town do for combat? City's minus one, so he can go one, two into there. He can go one, two over to there, which means he's gonna get beat up, I'm sure. He'll go to, he'll stay here. Now I want to, now I gotta get these guys out of there. He's gonna go back to here. He's gonna go one, two, three, he's gonna go back to here. This guy's gonna go one, two, three, four. He'll go this way. He's gonna go with him because they're gonna need help. Um, they're okay. Let's get the armor out of here. One, two, three, four, five. We'll take him to here. Now we'll take him to here. And then we'll go one, nope, one, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Start maybe working towards these objectives, I guess. Try to put off fighting so the Russians can't um, use that plus two DRM. All right, recovery, so they'll get the flip back over. They're not doing any combat, so straight to recovery. All right, recovered. Recovered outside of Rajev. Romanians will recover, and he will recover. Is that everybody? That is everybody, and that ends the turn, and we're going to move on to turn two. And the Germans will get four again on this one, while the Russians get um, seven again.